pistol break. I, I could have helped stop a bit of the run. And, and, and they, they know it's not personal. That's why it's important to have good relationships with your teammates. Because those types of plays can be misconstrued a little bit. Walker trying to drive inside, loses his footing. And these guys, when they clamp down. Coffee comes the other way. Yeah, there were two guys waiting for Walker as soon as he put it on the deck. 16 point Clipper lead with six minutes left here in the third quarter. At the timeout, the Clippers 6 and 12 shooting from the field. And they were getting into the paint. Here's Kawhi with a deflection and then runs it down. Whoa. Loops it up and in with a left hand. A circus shot by Kawhi Leonard with the pick and then the left hand fling under duress. He's going to head to the line with a chance at a three point play. Incredible. He gets the stop with his hands. Sticks those arms up the same way we just saw James Harden do to help create the turnover before the timeout. <laughs> he just found the glass and gave that ball a chance. Leonard with 17, 18 on the night, and the Clippers open it up to a 19-point spread. 543 cross court, passed up a three. I want to see him shoot that. Knocked down by Leonard, up the floor, into the lane for the hammer, and it's Leonard again with a pick to go coast to coast for a jam. 21-point Clipper lead. Just like that. Benton leans in. Coffee gets a piece of that. Picked up by Zubats. Now we are seeing that Clipper ball club that had played so well when Harden came on as a starter. Westbrook went to the bench. Out of the corner. It's Kawhi for three. No. Back tap. Right to Harden. Into the lane. Pitches to Coffee All day. The lefty will raise. Swish. And it's an 84-60 count on an 18-2 Clipper run with 4-11 left here in the third. The Clippers came into this game as one of three teams with at least four qualified shooters shooting at least 40% from the three-point line. Along with Oklahoma City. The Denver Nuggets look like the team to beat out west. And the Clippers, you know, we talked about a... Making it. Making threes, 4-4 four, four from three-point range. So just like that, the Clippers up 24. That and the fact that their defense, Lamar, has forced seven Blazer turnovers in the quarter for 13 points off turnovers. Yep, yeah, yeah, it, it hasn't been what the trend throughout the season has been from them, which is a defense that together, individually first, and then as a team unit. Found in Murray's 15 in the first half. Amazing. Opens up with three threes in that first quarter. Love it. And I'm... Reminded by Danny Morang at halftime. Danny always comes over and lectures me on certain <laughs> things. And I, I appreciate the knowledge. Danny, very knowledgeable guy. Says, remember, Murray's 40% in those corners. It's beyond the break where he gets into trouble. But boy, in the corner, he's automatic. Up in the front court comes Scoot. He just doubled. He's picked up by Tice on the switch. Repair getting some run tonight. He'll scoop it out. Yes, sir. Here's Henderson into the lane downhill with traffic. Yes. Draws the foul. Yes. Back to the line for scoop. Also, the threes you shoot in the corner are typically catch and shoot threes. That's why a lot of people, a lot of teams, they seek the corner shots because that means it most likely came off a good ball movement. Like maybe a drive like this where the defense collapses and then you whip it out there to a corner shooter. Whereas the threes that are against a quality basketball team, the Clippers, same two teams Friday, the world champs are here on Saturday night. Off the screen, whirling into a 15-foot jumper is Paul George. Been doing that a long time, now his 14th year. This is what's great about this part of the season, this particular season nice pass. for the Blazers. It was a nice pass and then another good defensive play. These teams, the Blazers are seeing, and Coach Phillips touched on this pregame. These teams are playing for something. Yep. So they're not coming in here overlooking these Blazers. The Blazers are getting a great test. Scoot gets wiped out on a moving screen. Daniel Tice having his way with him. So the Blazers get it back. Tice, a good pickup by this ball club. Now in his seventh year. He's been around the block. Just a solid backup guy. Won't hurt you. To get an update from the Clippers staff on when they expect Westbrook back. Banton triggers the three, won't go. Westbrook out with surgery on the broken hand. March 4th, Reef into the lane, lays it up and in. Determined move as he goes right at Tice. Yes, yes. 24 point Clippers spread, 20 seconds remaining, third quarter. 
Because Westbrook, as we all know, brings that energy, that pop every game off the bench. So, you know, they're still trying to sort that out. He's going to give it to us on any given night. Coffee's had a nice night. He throws a three up there that's off. Rebound ripped away from Tice by Jabari. Wreath up the floor. Awkwardly keeps his pivot foot and actually got off a three that would have counted. That ends three. Clippers open it up. 94-70. They apply pressure on the defensive end, and the Blazers, unfortunately, turn it over like young clubs will do. With Hart and Leonard and Simons all out on the floor.